The Philadelphia International Airport is a site that many Dead or Alive players are seeing as they prepare for a Battle Royale qualifier at Summer Jam 11. To some players, this is the first time they compete. But for others, like Ryan Jimenez and Drew Nealis, this isn't the first rodeo. They quickly explain why they do it and what they hope to achieve. Um, I come out to these events because I'm a very competitive person and I love to support. Um, I feel like DOA doesn't get as much credibility as other fighting games even though like, there's so much love into it. It's just I feel like it needs to be more understanding. A lot of things have been coming up in my life. I just started my job. Um, I'm young, I'm 18. And this is my first job, so I haven't been able to practice the deal as much as I'd love to. But I'm feeling pretty confident, honestly. The reason I went, uh, went to the first tournament was uh, I had some online friends I was playing with for a really long time, a few years, and uh, we all just kind of decided to go to this tournament and just see how we would do. And it just turned out to be really fun. And we all did pretty well, actually, our first tournament. So and that's kind of why, that's another reason I keep coming to these tournaments is uh, hang out with people. And I expect to do pretty well at this tournament, hoping to go at least top eight, so let's see how it goes. Top eight, something many players don't get to experience, but today they're hoping that practice will pay off. It's a tough road ahead for the competitors, but one player has recently made a name for himself. A longtime fan of the game, but new to the competitive scene, D'Angelo Bird made a huge statement at his first tournament and also won the event prior to this one. He describes how uncertain he was when making the initial leap to the competitive scene but it's happy he made that decision. What made me compete was like, I mean, first I was scared to go offline. I mean, like it wasn't like money issues. Like many people thought it was money issues, but in a sense, like I just felt like that, like I just wasn't good enough to compete. But my friends actually like encouraged me to, to go out to my first tournament. So I said, you know, like why the hell not? So like, like it was kind of for me to step out of my comfort zone. To compete and then I, I actually ended up doing like really well so it was a great experience and like I learned a lot on the offline scene so I actually enjoyed the offline scene actually but I still expect to make top eight and you know like beat like most top players. Many players have high expectations but as the day comes to an end several competitors have been eliminated and only the top eight remain. These competitors will have a chance to rest the remainder of the day but will have to be ready to fight on the big stage tomorrow afternoon. It's Sunday and it's almost noon. The top eight competitors begin to warm up and competitors that have been eliminated try to get a few games before they sit down to spectate the finals. A few competitors describe the challenge they faced the previous day, but for those that have to be on stage, they're hoping to get past their first match. Well, like since I've been top eight losers, uh, my first match is against Killy. He's uh, definitely one of the chosen boys for the tournament. Uh, and then if I happen to beat him, I gotta take on the loser between X Cow and Quiggle. So, you know, a lot of people be like, crap, that's, a, that's like a tough uh, order. Like, why the hell do you do this? Uh, I, I don't, I do it for the competition, for personal goals, but I also do it because I, I like meeting these guys. And, like we see right here, you have like everyone sitting here playing games together, everyone's chill, they're learning the game. I get, to, I get to learn new strats and stuff while I get to meet, people, uh, meet new people as well who come out and they're just like, hey, I, I don't think I'm going to win and I ended up in top eight. So, I mean, so I'm I mean, a top eight. I, I tried to get there. Yeah. I, I came out 2-0, came out swinging, and then all of a sudden I hit a brick wall. I, I, I ended up facing my buddy uh, Dan Yeager. Uh, we, play all the, we play all the time offline. So it was just a straight up, you know, right. another offline meeting. He got the like better of me. Day, basically. He, he, yeah, he got the better of me, and then I went to losers, and Kelly just destroyed me. He I mean, it, was, that, it wasn't even close. No. I, I, I wish I could put up a fight, but he knocked me out. I was one win away from top eight. Uh, well, I'm a top eight loser. Um, I had to face Telly, King Telly twice. Uh, definitely not a, not somebody you want to sleep on. Been playing for a long time. Um, I ended up losing the Caliber Blaze. It's just good, man. It's a good play. There's nothing really more I can say about that. Uh, I'm gonna beat him one day. It might be the day. I might win the last day. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know gonna be. But um, I have to fight GSP guy in my first match. GSP guy is another person who has been playing for a long time since one of his first tournaments and I'm not going to go in there sleeping on him but I want to I want to put him to sleep, you know what I mean? So, we'll see, we'll see what happens. While they look forward to their matches, some of the eliminated competitors are taking advantage of the fact that they won't be competing today 
by eating a good meal before making their way to see the finals. Of course, in the process, they share their predictions on who will take the championship title today. You know, the, the usual suspects, the Quiggles, uh, Blades, Killy even, he's a good contender. But the way Jaeger's been playing recently, I think that Jaeger very much has a chance to take it this time. In my opinion, they all good. However, I'm a little biased, so I, I think Killy's going to take it. Anybody that has great defense like that, it's hard to open them up. So, yeah, Killy, Killy can take it. It's a toss-up. You know, this tournament's going to be amazing. It'll be amazing to watch, you know, how it turns out. So. Great predictions for great players. And with the top eight competitors making their way to the stage, we'll see if any of those predictions come true. Knowledgeable community members get on stream to commentate the matches, and the rest of the competitors take a seat to spectate the finals. Oh, another one. Okay, one more. Takes it. So good, and Michael looks upset. Several fights end, upsets happen, and the competitors that are eliminated begin to wonder what else they could have done better to win their matches. Regardless of the outcome, competitors shake hands with each other at the end of their set to show respect for one another. But as the event comes to an end, there's only one pair of hands left to shake. Ryan Jimenez and Christian McLean have met several times in the grand finals, but Christian will have to win two sets in order to take the title from Ryan. Not an easy task since Ryan is the defending champion from the previous Summer Jam. Christian comes close to resetting the set, but Ryan closes it out before allowing that to happen and reminds Christian why he okay. was the champion at Summer Jam last year. Can he clutch it again? No, no he, he can't. can't. <laughs> oh, I hate him. He's so good, he's so good. <laughs> the top three competitors get on stage for their plaques and medals, and tournament organizer Eric Small is there to deliver them. Eric has given many DOA players an opportunity to share their talent to the world and briefly shares his experience running events, working with Team Ninja to host these qualifiers, and his thoughts on the DOA community. All right, you know, I started doing tournaments 19 years ago. The reason I do it, I love it. I used to be, I used to be a game back then, you know what I mean? Um, I love it, man. I, I love the FGC. I love, you know, being around the scene, the tournaments. If I didn't do it, love it, I probably wouldn't do it but I can't come down on it. And experience with Team Ninja has been nothing but great. Ever since Matt introduced me to Tom Lee, man, it's like we connected, then the company connected, and the support that they give us, man, is amazing, amazing. The community. It's a little tough with these guys. I love them, I love all of them. I think the community can thrive, man. I just hope Team Ninja put out another game for us soon so we can keep it going, it, 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 we can go to the top. I believe these guys can go to the top. On Monday morning, everything is quiet. Halls are empty, and for those that didn't win first place, will have a long ride home. However, the experience these players gain will help push themselves to another level. They're fighters after all, and although they didn't win the prize, that was never the goal. They were there to fight. They were there for the whole experience.